you're supposed to be here. What? This morning, Dino took my locker again. Do you know how I know? Because I put super glue on the handle. <laughs> and it was stuck there till recess. <laughs> oh, so good. And um, you know how we're doing German. I can't stand it, but the swear words are so excellent. <laughs> I have learnt them all so I can swear at mum and dad and not lose my pocket money. <laughs> oh, so good. And last night I go home and I go to mum, do best honest cheese to cop. <laughs> and mum goes, she goes, she did German at school. <laughs> You and lost of pocket money for three weeks. <laughs> and Adam goes, nah, 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 nah. such an idiot. Because do you know what he wants to be? A secret agent footballer. Dino took my locker again. Do you know how I know? Because I put super glue on the handle. <laughs> and it was stuck there till recess. <laughs> oh, so good. And um, you know how we're doing German? I can't stand it, but the swear words are so excellent. <laughs> I have learnt them all so I can swear at mum and dad and not lose my pocket money. <laughs> oh, so good. And last night I go home and I go to mum, do best honest she's to cop. <laughs> and mum goes, she goes, she did German at school. <laughs> You and lost of pocket money for three weeks. <laughs> and Adam goes, nah, 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 nah. such an idiot. Because do you know what he wants to be? A secret agent footballer pope? <laughs> Can you believe it? So stupid. You can't even play football. <laughs> oh, but the German teacher, Mrs. Belcher, oh, so funny. We go, good morning, Mrs. Uh, like that. Oh, so funny. And she just reeks of smoke. And see, she's new, and we go, oh, yeah, you're allowed to smoke at our school, all the teachers do. So she lights up, and we go, we go, we just double to the principal. <laughs> so good. And you should see her. She is so fat. Like, her slacks could clothe the third world. <laughs> and, like, we just move our desks together so she can't get down the aisle. <laughs> and she goes, she goes, she just gets stuck. <laughs> oh, so excellent. Oh, but you'll never guess who I have to sit next to. Stinking McMahon. Oh, like, I would rather sit next to a garbage bin. Yeah, have a better conversation, too. Now, Fedek, his B.O. is so bad. Like, at first, I didn't want to hurt his Felix, so I didn't say anything. I just wore a peg. <laughs> no, but he didn't take the hint, so the next day I wear heaps of perfume, right? And guess what? He goes to me, oh, Kylie, you stink. <laughs> Can you believe it? And I go, what about your B.O. bogan breath? <laughs> and he goes, oh, yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? And he goes, he goes, like that. Oh, so on. But that is not the worst bit. He wears really short pants because he plays football and he's always falling over and grazing his knees. And so he's got these huge scabs on his knees. Oh, and guess what? He picks them. Oh, I mean, I mean, he doesn't just pick them around the edges. No, but he waits about three days till the scab is almost healed, you know? You know, like when it starts to lift around the edge like an omelette? <laughs> And then, and then, he goes, he goes, he just tries to get it off like in one piece. What's that? Oh, not again. Oh, these bloody Pekingese. Always getting stuck in the spokes. <laughs> Russell, you, uh, you didn't come yesterday. Oh, sorry, Mr. Mac, I had a terrible experience. Had what? To, had to deliver a telegram down at the Mother's Club. That was a terrible experience? Yeah, they thought I was a stripper gram. <laughs> It must have been a bit embarrassing. Nah, I made 50 bucks. <laughs> I'm going back again next week. Now, the good thing about it, Mr. Mac, they actually pay you more for the more clothes you take off. Next week, I'm going to wear eight jumpers, ten pairs of pants. <laughs> what are you taking this up professionally, Russell? Ah, oh, I couldn't do that, Mr. Mac. I've already got a job. No, that's right. Yeah, I drive taxis at night. <laughs> yeah, hang but on. all the boys are doing it. Hang on, my mother's in the mother's club. Oh, yeah, I know. She gave me 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, I drive taxis at night. Good job. Fantastic job, actually. All the boys are getting into this butt, this telegram bit. What, strippergrams? Oh, they're getting into it. Nick last week, you know, hairy Nick. Yeah, the hair, yeah. He did one, took his clothes off, they thought he was a gorilla gram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and poor Jones, he had to deliver one to Mrs. Edwards. Yeah. Oh, telling her that her auntie had died. Hold it. He did a strippergram telling her that her auntie had died. Oh, no, nah, it was a little bit more serious than that, oh, Mr. Yeah. Mac. Oh, he kept his jocks on. <laughs> That's right, I don't believe this. Oh, I don't believe it. You could get into it yourself, Mr. Mac. Russ, who's going to pay for me to take my clothes off? <laughs> You're right, aren't you? <laughs> Especially when they can get it for free. What are you talking about free? 
You should get your curtains fixed. What do you... <laughs> what do you can't see? <laughs> Only joking. I saw... <laughs> Look, I hate to interrupt this, Russell, but do you actually have any mail for me? Yeah, actually, you do, Mr Mac, and it's a telegram. Oh, great. No, no stop it. <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> I was only joking. Hey, I'll actually, I'll sing it to you if you like. OK, sing it. <laughs> Just get ready. <laughs> Mr Mac, you're in luck. You've won 10,000 bucks. All you got to do is give us the word. You got to ring us before the 23rd. $10,000? Yeah, 10,000 bucks. Only the 23rd. Russell, that was yesterday. I was supposed to get this yesterday when you didn't come. Oh, what can I do? Russell, you owe me $10,000. Oh, come. Oh, actually, I can make it up to you, Mr. Mac. I can make it up How to you. How can you make it up to me? I'll give you 10 stripper grams absolutely free. Russell, get out of here. <laughs>